In this short All About Symbian video, I want to demonstrate the browser rendering speed of a couple of S60 on Symbian Nokia devices. This is to demonstrate the new browser that's available in the M86 as well as the Nokia 5800 and Nokia M97. To start off with, we're testing with the M95 8GB, the E75 and the M86. These are all non-touch devices and as you can see we're loading up the Wikipedia website. As you'll notice the M86 has finished first, the E75 is just about to finish second and the M95 8GB comes in, in last place. You'll also notice that they've got a slightly different double rendering technique compared to the M86. The next video shows uh, the YouTube site loading. Again, the M86 comes in first comfortably. Most of the time it's roughly twice as fast as the M95 8GB, but on some sites can be four times as fast. The E75 is generally a little quicker than the M95. It's a feature pack 2 device as opposed to feature pack 1 like the M95, and therefore the browser has been slightly improved between these two, but it's nothing like the step up to the M86. The other thing that's important to notice is that the rendering engine has been improved. That's because there's a more recent version of WebKit in the M86. The upload button is a good demonstration of this on YouTube. The final site that I'm going to test in this video is the Times Online. This is the website of one of the UK's leading newspapers and in size terms it's quite large. Therefore it's a good test for a mobile device which typically slow down or choke on larger websites. Once again the M86 is way ahead of the E75 and the M95. Indeed this time it loads about three times as fast. So what's the explanation for this? Well, in hardware terms, all these devices are relatively similar. The E75 and the N86 have the same processor and memory. So really, it's down to software. And as I mentioned earlier, the N86 has the new version of the S60 web browser, version 7.1, whereas the E75 and the N95 have an older version, about version 3.2. Therefore, it's entirely down to software and is an important demonstration of how much software optimization can do for the performance of a smartphone. As I mentioned earlier, the N86 shares this browser with the Nokia M97 and the Nokia 5800. So the obvious question is, is the N86 faster than the M97 or not? Well, in my test, the N86 just edged the M97, but there wasn't an awful lot in it. The big takeaway from this video should be that the new version of the S60 browser, which has been released rather quietly, has very significant performance improvements, to the extent that the N86's browser speed is in the same league as devices such as the iPhone 3GS and Palm Cree.